the truth. Hello, we step out. The game is not going to be as free flowing, so it's going to be a little more methodical. And with our team, our defense slipped a little bit in the regular season, but our intensity was so great tonight, and our focus was there. Without those two things are there, and we communicate, we're almost impossible to score on. And we um, did a great job, obviously, holding under 40% of the field. And we got so many guys who are versatile enough to play, guard every position. That's our biggest strength. And uh, can't be complacent, though. Can't be satisfied. It's just one game. And we know the Spurs going to come out and make adjustments for Monday. Clay, when you look at the box score and see you were 11 for 13, do you wish you'd gotten a few more shots up, or are you just happy with the efficiency? Um, no, I'm very happy. If you. We win by 21 every game and I get 10 shots or four shots. Who cares? Quite. Communication is up to par. We're really hard to beat. That's what we want to do for the rest of the series. Quite the decision to start Andre obviously worked. But when you first heard that Andre was going to start today, what went through your mind? What, what were your thoughts about that move? Because most of us thought it was kind of a curveball. Yeah, well, um, Andre gives us so much on both ends, especially the defensive end, his ability to guard every position. He's got some of the best hands I've ever seen. And uh, our ability to switch, I think, disrupted them. I know they'll make adjustments Monday, but we were able to, you know, clog the lane, and get back to shooters. And Andre initiates that at the point guard position. And um, he's such a great glue, glue guy. He can literally do everything, whether it's get the ball off the board and beat the fast break or knock down an open three. He was huge for us tonight. Uh, he only took four shots, but um, his intangibles and his rebounding, as well as his playmaking, were, were great. Clay, the other big question coming into the game was who was going to start at center? JaVale got the nod there. Just what can you say about what JaVale brought? I mean, JaVale is a great threat. He might be the best playoff game he's ever played. He was a phenomenal night on both ends. Um, he was just such a great presence at the rim on offense and defense, disrupting shots as well as finishing shots. So I uh, hope he comes with the same mindset Monday. And if he does, we'll be in great, in great shape. Hey, Clay, you've had so many games like this where you shoot the ball well, even when you don't have the ball necessarily for a long time with catch and shoot. What's kind of the, the science in being able to perfect that so well consistently? Not caring about your stats. It's that simple. I mean, if you just focus and play free-minded, um, you're going to knock down shots just because you don't overthink it. You don't um, second guess yourself. And that's what I've come to at this point in my career. I just want to win.